eigenvalues are, are very commonly used throughout many scientific applications and work from the, uh, the, the team at Lawrence Berkeley is focusing uh, on extending capabilities in the, the PARPAC software uh, which originated uh, from the RPAC software uh, originally developed by Danny Sorensen and company. Um, Chow Yang and Esmond and at, at Lawrence Berkeley are the, the key people working on the, the eigenvalue work in our project now. So the emphasis in this work is computing a few eigenpairs um, of, of both Hermitian and non-Hermitian matrices. Uh, this is not really intended to compute all eigenvalues of, of a matrix, um, but really just a, a subset of those. So this software can handle both standard eigenvalue problems as well as generalized eigenvalue problems, um, and it can, can look at both, both extremal and interior eigenvalues. So, I encourage you to take a look at the software um, itself for more de details. The applications uh, covered by PARPAC are, are very broad. This is just a sampling um, of work that has been done in a few areas uh, where we've had strong impact on computational chemistry, looking at dens density functional theory, um, also nuclear physics, uh, and accelerator cavity modeling. Uh, the, the team at Lawrence Berkeley is, is working very actively on developing new algorithms and, and incorporating those for use as motivated by these uh, scientific applications. Here's a list of a few areas of work, um, and you can uh, go to, to the uh, website for more specific details. Also represented uh, in our algebraic solver suite of capability uh, are the ML and MULU multigrid libraries that are part of, of the, the broader Trilinos framework. Uh, many of you may know that Trilinos is a, is a very powerful uh, framework for providing capabilities throughout a range of uh, both algebraic solvers as well as mesh management, uh, nonlinear solvers, et cetera. So today we'll be speaking just about two parts of this but uh, you're certainly welcome to investigate further uh, for more details. ML is a, an algebraic multigrid uh, package that provides a broad range of support for, uh, for many different kinds of algorithms, um, and it's been used uh, very effectively in, in a range of application problems. Um, MULU is a, a new uh, aspect of algebraic multigrid functionality in Trilinos. It's a templated framework. So in addition to providing support for the multigrid algorithms such as in ML, it's also intended to be um, a framework for, for devising um, new creative approaches. And in particular, it leverages the templated sparse linear algebra stack that's available within Trilinos so that we can um, effectively use new architectures and uh, mixed precisions and, and things of that, of that nature. So the, the algebraic multigrid libraries within Trilinos have been very effective on many, many applications. These are just a few examples uh, where we see performance for magnetohydrodynamics problems um, and also fluid dynamics problems where we see very good performance um, and it, as shown in this weak scaling plot. I'm not gonna go into the algorithmic details here uh, for, for algebraic multigrid. Rob Fogu will cover those in, in much more depth uh, during his presentation this afternoon about hyper. So as I mentioned, MULU provides a research framework for, for developing uh, algebraic multigrid capabilities. And this um, slide just provides a few highlights of, of different aspects of work that are, are possible within that framework. Um, we, we'd like to emphasize that, that the algebraic solvers um, in Trilinos have been very effective in uh, the Pisces project where we've seen um, very strong improvements in performance. Um, there's more information about this available through the, through the website. So the Trilinos framework also provides nonlinear solver capabilities in the Knox package. Uh, the emphasis within the algorithmic part of Knox is, is looking at Newton-based nonlinear solvers. Uh, those, in turn, build on the lower level linear solvers within Trilinos. They also support matrix-free options, and what that means is that 
We don't necessarily need to explicitly form and store a, a matrix for a Newton type solver, but rather we can just provide operations based on Jacobian vector products. I'll talk a little bit more about that in my, my presentation as well. Knox also supports other variations such as Anderson acceleration, um, the standard kinds of globalization through line search, trust region strategies, et cetera. And interestingly, uh, it can be extended to do uh, broader kinds of analysis uh, by including support for stability analysis, bifurcation tracking, and whatnot through the LOCA package. Um, again, more information is available through the Trilinus website. So this uh, slide provides a um, little bit more information about how important it is to be able to experiment with different kinds of algorithms uh, throughout software toolkits. So the performance graph here shows that uh, one approach used for ice sheet modeling um, has been very effective is using homotopy methods, um, which has been very helpful uh, for the, the kinds of challenges in these particular problems. Um, we found that just using the regular Newton type method didn't um, converge at all. That's shown by the red line, which extends uh, upward. Um, and using backtracking methods eventually converged as shown by the green line there, but really the blue lines, the homotopy approaches were, were much more effective here. So this emphasizes a theme that you'll see repeated throughout many of the algebraic solver presentations here today, and that is that it's really important to have a broad range of algorithmic capabilities uh, so that individual applications can experiment and determine what's most effective for their particular problems. So this slide shows a, a bit of the broader context of some of the math capabilities within Trilina. So ML, which I mentioned, is, is part of the multi-level preconditioners. There's also support for iterative solvers, direct solvers, uh, et cetera, within the linear algebra capabilities of Trilinus. Likewise, um, NOx is part of um, analysis tools. Uh, there's also support for uh, time integration, sensitivity analysis, optimization, and whatnot. Um, of particular interest lately is emphasis on uncertainty quantification. UQ solvers are an important part of Trilino's capabilities. Um, and you'll see a lot more discussion perhaps later this afternoon about other aspects of Trilino's that are not included in this diagram uh, when you hear from Mauro Perego and, and Glenn Hansen. You should definitely investigate that further uh, by looking at online resources. 